I was dying to weigh in on this issue. I did on Twitter, but I was when this was going viral, it just seemed incredible to me that anybody could not see Matt Walsh's side in this. I was very surprised by how viral it went. Young woman named Julia Mazur. She is the host of the Pretty Much Done podcast. And she pretty much posted a video about being 29 with no kids. Now, I know that people are fighting about this in the comments, know that you are going to fight about this in the comments. And I feel like this video deserves better context because people were pretending this was just a young girl who doesn't speak out about anything, who just made a video to make herself feel better. And then she was ruthlessly attacked by conservatives. So let's at first watch this video and play a game. I want you to take a shot every time this young woman says I and try not to die. You are, you're gonna die. Take a listen. It's 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. I'm 29 and single and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10.15. Every time I thought I should probably get up and do something, I thought, why? Nobody's making me. I'm not missing out on anything. I went to Beyonce last night and I didn't get home until 1 a.m. And I danced and drank my little heart out and I didn't pay a babysitter to watch my kids as I did that. And I woke up a tad hungover this morning, which is probably why I I was in bed for so long and I was just scrolling on my phone and I saw a picture of shakshuka and I thought you know what sounds really good maybe I'm gonna learn how to make shakshuka today because I have no plans and I don't have kids and I don't have a husband and I don't have errands to run I can go to the grocery store and learn how to make shakshuka so that's on my agenda today also on my agenda probably a rewatch of some Real Housewives of New York I'm also doing a rewatch of Normal People on Hulu which is really spicy and I highly recommend weirdly I'm into this documentary on Netflix about blue zone countries so I've got a pretty stacked day anyway I say all this to say whenever I'm hard on myself about why I'm not married and I don't have kids Kids and I should be further along at 29, almost 30. I wouldn't want to do anything else this Saturday. And I know that you can do all these things when you have kids and you're married, and I understand, but the effortlessness and ease of my life, just kind of focusing on myself and the shakshuka I want to make or the Beyonce concert I want to go to really pays off when I'm hard on myself for not being where society tells me I should be in life. <laughs> not being funny. I lost track of how many times she said I and my. I got to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 38 times in that very short clip of her talking about herself and I, 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 I. Now, um, what is wrong with this clip? Obviously, let me make it very clear. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being 29 and single. I know people that are 29 and single, 28 and single, 30 and single, 30 two and single, 35 and single. There's nothing wrong with being single, right? But when you turn to the internet and you associate your singleness with kids, right? When you turn to the internet and you say that here is why being single is great because I don't have to deal with children. I don't have to deal with anybody else. And I, 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 I get to focus on me, 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 me. It's because you're a selfish person, right? And by the way, if you think that I'm making up that she's selfish, if you didn't get that by what she's talking about, I can make Sashuka, I, 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 I. It's cringe how many times she's mentioned herself. There is no reason that being single equates to selfishness. Doesn't need to, right? At the age of 29 years old, if I were single, I would probably dedicate my weekend to other people. Maybe I'd want to go see my parents, my sisters. Maybe I'd want to see my nephews, my nieces. Maybe I'd want to pick up one of my nephews and my nieces to see if they want to make shashuka. Maybe I'd want to go to church rather than a Beyonce concert. Maybe I'd want to dedicate some time to helping other people. But no, her entire focus in this video is saying the beautiful thing about not starting a family like those people that you see on the internet, because that's what she's mocking. She doesn't have to correlate being single to children at all is that you get to be entirely selfish. And in case you think she doesn't think that, that this video is being misinterpreted, here's another video that she made because she does this often. She speaks out and encourages single people to be selfish in which she underscores how wonderful it is to be a selfish human being. Take a listen. Turning 30 in a few months to think that if I didn't have kids and I wasn't married by 30 and I didn't have it all figured out, I would just be a mess. I kind of am a mess, but in different ways. Like I'm a happy mess, you know? 
Every day I have an identity crisis about my career. And some days I wanna live in LA and some days I wanna live in Bali and some days I even think, should I move to France? But I think that it is such a privilege that I get to think those things. And I think that for so many of us, as we're on the path to try to find our people and have kids and settle down, we lose sight of the fact that being single means that you can think and daydream and imagine yourself living in other places and do whatever you want with your time. And I think this time is really special and we're not gonna get it back when we settle down. And maybe it's corny and cheesy, but I choose to believe that the universe has a plan and it figures out when we're gonna have all these things that we're searching for if you're like me and you were trying to rush it for so long and figure out who's going to be your person and when you're going to find them and when you're going to have kids i hope that we choose to just enjoy this time because we're not going to get it back and this is the most selfish that we can be and i'm no longer going to fear 30 and i promise not to freak out when i turn 30 and i'm gonna embrace it and love it and i know it's all happening as it should Yep. Wonderfully inspiring, signaling to other people that what's really wonderful is that you get to lean into your selfishness. And what she is offering really is a commentary on the society that we live in, in which everyone is becoming a narcissist. As I said, it's all about her and what she gets to do because she doesn't have the burden of children and she doesn't have the burden of a husband. What is actually happening is this woman, whether or not she's really going to admit it to other people, she's not happy. She doesn't feel fulfilled. And it's not because she's not married and she hasn't found the one or she doesn't have children. It's because she's not doing anything that gives her true purpose. You don't have true purpose when all you're doing is focusing on yourself and being a narcissist at the age of 30 years old. Okay, I get that when you're in your early 20s, I wanna live for me, blah, blah, blah. You grow out of that by the time you're 30. You should grow out of that by the time you're 30. You should realize that it's actually joy in being able to share your time with other people. As I said, it doesn't matter if that's a niece, a cousin, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, but in acts of service, the most fulfilling thing that you can do is helping other people, spending time with other people, sharing your time with other people, not turning to the internet and inspiring other people to be other little narcissists. So yes, Matt was accurate to point out that this woman is likely going to be miserable. As I said, this woman, find her, check her in 10 years. You can believe feminism all you want, right? You can believe it all you want. But if you check this woman in 10 years, it's going to be wine nights alone, popping Xanax if she does not transform the way that she thinks. And again, it is not because she doesn't have a husband or children. So yes, Matt's response to this video hit the nail on the head when he tweeted, if you don't have a family, at least do something interesting with your time. These people have absurd amounts of free time and they do absolutely nothing with it, wasting their lives staring at little glowing boxes. Absolutely soul crushing. Agreed. All right, if you like this video, you are going to like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here.